To the latest on the city's pandemic recovery now, Governor Hochul says she wants people who work in Manhattan back in the office at the start of the new year. But her push comes as coronavirus infections in our area are rising. In New York and New Jersey, new cases more than doubled over the last month. But in the city, there were only about 200 new cases since October 18th. CBS 2's Jessica Layton reports now on the governor's announcement. As the year winds down, working from home might also be coming to an end. At least that's Governor Hochul's holiday wish. How about this New Year's resolution? That in the days after New Year's, that we say, everybody back in the office, you can have a flex time, but we need you back at least the majority of the week. But getting the 3.1 million people who worked in Manhattan pre-pandemic back to the office will be a challenge. A study by the Partnership of New York City found that just 49% of the workforce is expected to be back by the end of January. The governor also says 80% of adults in New York are now fully vaccinated. The federal government is expected to okay Pfizer and Moderna boosters for anyone 18 and older, but states like New York and Connecticut are not waiting for that government green light. Any of them are good and will create increase your antibody level. The push to boost comes as cases are increasing by 35% in other parts of the country. The CDC says COVID is spreading faster in Minnesota than anywhere else. Cases there are up nearly 50% in the last week. It's unprecedented. Um, I have never seen so many people on a ventilator at one time. And at this hospital in Arizona, the COVID ICU is 96% full. Because so few Arizonans have taken the vaccine and become fully vaccinated, we have many remaining individuals who are susceptible to COVID-19's worst case scenario, which is hospitalization and death. Doctors here in the tri-state area say, if at all possible, get your booster before you spend Thanksgiving with family and friends. Antibody levels with that added dose rise much faster than after the first shots. And those higher antibody levels are now proving to be very effective in protecting against the Delta variant. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Jessica, thank you. Thank you, Jessica.